At the EMP Museum of Pop Culture, Brooks's quest is also nearing completion. This is the last prop that he needs. This is a tricorder from Star Trek. This is an original prop. You would have seen this used by Spock, also Dr. McCoy. A tricorder is a, it's a multifunction device. It's a computer, it's a scanner, it's an analyzer, it's a sensor, it's used for science, for medicine, all kinds of things. Uh, it is like an iPad on steroids. It was another brilliant plot device which enabled people to explain things by looking at the, oh yeah, that's, this is that. It is an incredibly futuristic idea. I mean, I mean, this technology is still way beyond us. But maybe not for long. Because this guy thinks the future really is within our grasp. When you have the target of where you want to go, what you want to do, asking the world to say, that over there, that technology, that accomplishment, why hasn't someone done it? The XPRIZE Foundation, founded by Peter, launched the private space industry with its offer of a $10 million prize to the first commercial craft to reach space. It now hangs in the Boeing Milestones of Flight Hall. Today's $10 million prize will be awarded to the team that can invent one of these. Not a prop, but one that actually works. I like to say the day before something is truly a breakthrough, it's a crazy idea. Sonny Coley isn't crazy. He's an intensive care doctor. But he did grow up in the 70s watching reruns of Star Trek. As I walk into the hospital, the automatic door opens. You know, throw back to Star Trek. I'm walking up the stairs to the ICU. I've been speaking with them with my communicator device, thinking to myself, like, we're already here. These guys saw it coming. That should be possible. Why don't we have a tricorder? Who wouldn't want to be the physician of the future? I'll do everything I can, Jim, to save him. I think one of the things that appeals to me the most about him is that he has got the most appalling bedside manner. I don't need I'm still chief medical officer in Enterprise. I'll tell you what you need and when you need it. But underneath that, he's one of the most altruistic human beings that you can find. And he loves all species. There's nothing disgusting about it. It's just another life form, that's all. This is how Sonny's version of the tricorder works. And so just imagine you're at home. You don't feel very well. It's flu season. You're like, you know, what's going on with me? So I put this on. And the two things on the front here help pick up your electrical impulses from your heart. This piece in your ear detects your temperature and also detects an artery in the ear and picks up the pulse from that artery to help diagnose how fast you're breathing, what the oxygen levels are in your blood. The first thing it may tell me is that I have a fever, that my breathing rate is high, that my blood pressure is quite low, that I'm starting to develop sepsis or an infection in my bloodstream. All of those things are clues to that you don't just have the flu, you, you're actually progressing to full-blown pneumonia. You need to be seen. Like any medical diagnostic device, each tricorder must now undergo rigorous clinical testing before a winner can be declared and science fiction can take one step closer to reality. I believe we're heading towards a future in which we're gonna meet the basic needs of every man, woman, and child on this planet. We're making the Star Trek universe happen. It's the most exciting time ever to be alive. <laughs>